कॉलेज खत्म अब एक अच्छी डेवलपर की जॉब लेके मॉम डैड को प्राउड फील करूंगा फिर तो लाइफ सेट है इतने मेहनत के बाद भी सपोर्ट इंजीनियर क्या डेवलपर की जॉब एक सपना ही रह जाएगी सर, सादिक सर मैंने सब कर लिया फिर भी रिजल्ट्स नहीं मिल पा रहे हैं। शिवम तुम टेंशन मत लो मे बी देर इज अ प्रॉब्लम इन योर रिज्यूम और इन योर लिंक्डइन प्रोफाइल वी विल ऑप्टिमाइज योर प्रोफाइल एंड विल रेफर इट टू टॉप कंपनीज एंड जल्दी यू विल स्टार्ट गेटिंग कॉल्स वी आर देयर फॉर यू डोंट वरी Yes, I finally did it. I got my dream job with 120% salary hike. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Shivam and I am a, I'm currently working as a software engineer at Aran Mountain. I completed my under graduation in 2023 and uh, I have almost like uh, one and a half two years of experience in this domain. Uh, I started my journey as a sub- technical support engineer in a startup, and uh, I I learned a lot there as a, in a startup because the culture was very good. Since I had some sort of interest in coding, and uh, I had my past experiences in Java, so I thought of uh, switching my domain to a software engineer or a software developer. And uh, so yeah, I I I started looking out for. Uh, for you know for some sort of help or a curriculum that can help me to switch my domain from a support engineer to a software engineer and that's how i enrolled myself into boss code uh, so as a support engineer when i was working there were a lot of tasks that that you know goes on goes out on a repeated manner even though i was you know i had a lot of exposure on cloud services and there were tons of other things because we were working on some products which the company owned but there were there, there were very negligible amount of things that need some logic and that need some you know some hard work or something like that so i thought like you know i need to be somewhere at some sort of you know career or some sort of position that requires some logic building which can which can improve me as a person and improve my logic uh within the years so i thought of upskilling myself and uh yeah so that's how i you know i started looking out for some curriculum or some sort of help from internet and uh, i got a lot of uh, i got a lot of good reviews about boss coder and i had a thorough research about that uh so yeah I, that's how i got into into boss coder and then my journey started So uh, the curriculum in Boss Coder was very well uh, defined. Like it has, in a very, it was in a very structured format. Like it started with DSA, then we went on with uh, system design, then we had computer basics things, then we had web development projects. So uh, before that, I didn't had that much knowledge in DSA and system design, which was very a keen part in my interview preparation. So yeah, Boss Coder uh, helped me in upskilling. myself for the interviews as well as uh, i was also applying for a lot of uh, jobs as a software engineer or developer 
but um, I was not getting any response for a long period of time. I would say six or seven months. But then uh, I Shadik and his whole team they helped me a lot in my profile optimization, be it LinkedIn, be it Nokri, or be it you know resume, and that really helped. That really played a key role in me switching from a support engineer domain to a software engineer domain. With time and experience of me getting rejected to a lot of interviews as well as me not getting any calls or something, I got a lot of experience on how to build my resume with the help of Shadik and his whole team. And uh, once I um, I was ready for my resume and LinkedIn profile, I started getting calls. And uh, the current the current company in which I'm working is Iron Mountain. We are in a data management sector. and i work along with some google uh, employees and all we have a partnership with google so yeah and the interview process uh, comprised of around 6 to 7 rounds that had like the first three rounds were totally machine rounds and uh, f2 f rounds that are face to face rounds uh, mostly on dsa the next one round was all about my projects that i did uh, one was from the boss got a help and one one i did in my college time and the next one round was on low level design so yeah these were the main things that uh, that my interview was comprised of uh, apart from this uh, i got a lot of uh, you know uh, confidence because in boss quarter we have a mentor subscription which our mentors do take which helped me to articulate my answers well uh, because it's it's very easy to solve a problem but really it's difficult to articulate it to somebody when they are asking you a question and uh, yeah so if if i have to give any advice to the students who are preparing right now for any sort of job search or domain search or for a normal job itself i would suggest them that if they are doing or solving dsa uh, try to you know explain it to yourself uh, in such a way that you are explaining it to a kid and i feel a uh, one gets the satisfaction level to a next level if if the person if you are satisfied in a way that you have explained the question be it dsa be it lld or be it any any sort of theoretical questions then i think you are good to go it's it's really important to revise your stuff uh, rather than just doing new stuff so yeah that was my main motto in the whole preparation yeah